Hello, teacher friend. I know your time is short and I've got tons of good things to share, so I'm not going to waste a single second with idle chit chat. We're just going to dive right into the list like I know we are all ready to dive right into summer. Let's do this. In this edition of Five Good Things for Teachers, you'll find classroom serial standalone stories, an end of the year reading recap activity, another end of the year activity, this one focused on quotes. I've got some big news and an email update I want to share with you. And last but not least, we're going to talk about the Canva Meme Maker. I'm so glad you've decided to join me for this edition of Five Good Things. Let's listen on in. Good thing number one is classroom serial standalone stories. As always, I will have everything that I talk about in this episode linked in the video description box so you can grab it for yourself. I am beyond thrilled to share that I've joined the classroom serial super universe in the form of a short standalone story. My friend, Chris Slavin, creator of the Epic Classroom Serial Resources, aka Ready to Go Resources to help your students get a grip on grammar, improve their fluency, and increase their reading comprehension, he is passionate about producing and curating human created content. That's why he's launching a new set of short, standalone stories for students to consume and enjoy. Currently, there are three stories in the set by three different authors, and one of them, was written by me. I have added Reputation Stakeout to the series of stories and I would love for you to check it out. For a teeny tiny price subscription, you can get not only these three short stories, but also the boatload of resources that Chris has created. Seriously, I keep telling him to raise his prices, but alas, he does not listen to me and you are going to get an amazing deal. Check out all that Chris has to offer via the link in the description box. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments or email me and I will do my best to let you know what you need to know. Good thing number two, end of the year reading recap. One of my favorite things to do at the end of a school year is to have my students look back at all the books they have read and think about the ways they have grown as a reader. It's also a good opportunity to think ahead and put reading on their radar for summer. This activity accomplishes both. It's also fun and easy to implement during the last few days of school. There are a few ways you can do this, but my favorite way is for each student to find a bag that represents who they are as a person. Think a backpack, a sports bag, a sparkly purse. Then they fill it with books that match the shopping list. I'll list the shopping list down in the video description box, just like all the other resources you'll find there. After the students fill their bags, then we share them out loud, telling our favorite parts, doing book talks, and making recommendations to one another. I have a full downloadable resource that includes printables, planning sheets, a one-pager for really quick non-discussion filler activities, and introduction and sharing slides and more. Everything's down there for you, ready to go. I've also made a quick informational video that gives you more direction and implementation ideas specifically for this strategy, and I'll link that video below as well. Good thing number three is the end of the year quote activity. This activity created by Brian Tolentino is another fun one for the end of the year. The lesson plan allows students to choose a quote that resonates with them and then explain why the words and message are meaningful to their life. There are printables and a video for both of these activities as well. You can use it as a fun filler, a final piece of writing for their annual portfolio, or as a thoughtful way to wrap up the year. But either way, I think students are really going to enjoy it. You can also use the video that Brian has created to introduce the activity, and if you'd like to have some printed materials for students to browse when it comes to motivational quotes, I've got a set of posters linked down below as well. One extension, after students choose their quote and write their reflection, allow them to make a colorful poster or a mini billboard featuring their quote. You can save this and deliver to students on their first day next year to hang in their locker, use them to decorate your room, or just send them home. On a side note, Brian recently shared on social media that his son, around age three, I think, has recently been placed on the autism spectrum disorder, autism disorder spectrum. In response, Brian is now dedicating a portion of his website and resources to support both students with ASD and their teachers. Here's another thing you might not know. Brian's resources are always free. Seriously, what a guy. But he does accept donations. Brian has a second new goal. In his words, he wants to build his son a kick-ass sensory gym. 
and a portion of your donations will be going towards that project. If you've been using resources from Tolentino Teaching or you choose to use this one, please consider tossing a few bucks his way to help support him and his family in their new diagnosis journey. We're sending you big hugs, Brian and fam, and remember, we are all in this together and we can do hard things. You guys got this. Good thing number four, big news coming and an email. All right, little uh, class participation here. I want you to raise your hand if you do not check your school email regularly over the summer. If your hand is raised, good for you. Raise your hand if you like to save time and money. Raise your hand if you'd love for next year to be your, yes, your best school year yet. If your hand is popping up faster than an overshare with ADHD, then this good thing is for you. I'm going to be sharing something huge and amazing this summer, and I don't want you to miss out. So if you'd like to be notified in a different inbox, one, than you, one that you check more often in the summer, I want you to sign up using the link in the video description box. I promise that after the summer, I won't contact you there anymore. It's just a stopgap for getting you the good stuff while still giving you space and boundaries from school for the next few months. P.S. There may or may not be a special treat waiting for you if you do sign up. And finally, good thing number five, Canva Meme Maker. Y'all know I love Canva, capital L-O-V-E. And I just found another reason that it's my favorite digital design tool. They have a meme maker. If you're looking for a way to add fun and humor to your slides, bulletin boards, or emails, check it out. It could also be a fun activity for students. Ask them to create a meme related to a character or a book's theme, or one that uses a piece of figurative language. Tell them to create a meme showcasing a school rule or a piece of advice for students in your classes next year. Really, the options are endless, and so is the fun. All right, I know we are all just trying to get to the end of the school year. When you completely punt and have zero structure, it makes the days long for everyone, both you and your kids. Try to toss in some stuff that is slightly educational, but also on the fun and loose side, and everyone will come out a winner. Hopefully the activities in this edition of Five Good Things for Teachers will help you accomplish those goals and help you cross the finish line into summer. All my best friends, Amanda. P.S. If you wanna say thanks for all the good things I send your way and fuel future content creation, Buy me a cup of virtual coffee. It's almost as good as a real thing. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel, learning with the word nerd, and listening to this edition of Five Good Things. Please like this video and subscribe. And then if you haven't yet already, sign up to get this information delivered directly to your inbox on the first and third Thursday of every month. When you do, you will get tons of freebies as soon as you subscribe. All right, I'll see you again next time. Happy teaching.